Uh, Hi, welcome to SourceFed. I'm Joe Beretta. And I'm Lee Newton. Turn. A jumping spider has died. But this was no ordinary jumping spider, my internet friends. This jumping spider had a name, Nefertiti. But that's not what made it special, you see. Nefertiti also had a nickname. Spider Knot. Spider Knot, because Nefertiti hopped on a human rocket, blasted into space, spent 100 days on the International Space Station, and then made the return trip home. Nefertiti's space journey was the brainchild of an 18-year-old Egyptian student by the name of Amir Muhammad, who wanted to see if their arachnids' hunting capabilities would be hampered by zero gravity. Guess what? They weren't. Nefertiti pounced on prey just fine. Spider Knot finished the mission with flying colors, then hopped on the SpaceX Dragon capsule for a bumpy ride home. After that, the spider was escorted to the Smithsonian Institution's National Museum of Natural History. Did I get it? Mm -hmm. Cool. To be a part of the insect zoo. But alas, Nefertiti passed, <sighs> days after arriving. Hmm. Nefertiti was only 10 months old. Do we have a moment of silence? I think we should. Moving on to other parts of the solar system for another space story, like the farthest parts of the system, like the outer edge 11 billion miles from the sun, where Voyager 1, a spacecraft launched 35 years ago, is currently traveling at 11 miles per second. Ugh. The edge of the solar system is being dubbed the magnetic highway and is the final checkpoint before Voyager begins a dark, lonely journey into interstellar space. And I learned something, well, do I learned a lot of things, not just one thing, but this is something I really didn't know, and that's that the space between star systems is known as the interstellar medium. Ooh, look forward to that CW show. And when Voyager Voyager finally breaks into this realm is a guess at best. NASA says it could be anywhere from a couple of months to a couple of years. And what will Voyager experience once it does break through? Who knows? It's all speculation. Because it's all uncharted territory. That's why it's exciting. More than likely though, it'll experience a female captain and they're just gonna go through the seas of, of Space Voyager. Star Trek. Oh. Star Trek Voyager. One of those things. That's <laughs> fine. I'll let you have this moment. Thanks. This space of space is called the magnetic highway because this is where solar winds are diminished to the point where electrons from the interstellar medium leak into our solar system. Oh man, I have no clue what I'm talking about. But it kind of seems like an estuary, you know, where the ocean meets a river and all that stuff starts getting mixed up. So interstellar space stuff are mixing with our solar system space stuff. <sighs> Anyways, Voyager has some science instruments and it's going to be reading all this info and NASA's learning stuff, so that's good. Holy crap, humans are sending something out of the solar system. Ugh. 35 years in the making, people. We're going to see God. <laughs> <laughs> For more information on the Space Spider and Voyager, please go to SourceFed.com to get the scoop. And for more videos, click on this adorable annotation. You do it, it's adorable. Look at it. Oh, you're so cute. It's adorable. Blue. Hey, I'm Joe Beretta. I'm Lee Newton. We'll see you guys later. Bye. On the other side, oh. which is on the flip. Oh, I thought Grass you were is greener? Talking about death. <laughs> Bye.